Just an hour ago, day three of the Lamar Johnson hearing wrapped up in a St. Louis courtroom. Today, Lamar Johnson took the stand in an effort to overturn his murder conviction from nearly 30 years ago. Live on your side, Travis Cummings has been in court all day and joined us now with Johnson's testimony. Travis. Good evening, Mike. The state started calling their witnesses about an hour and a half ago, but for much of the day, it was all eyes on Lamar Johnson. He was met with an intense and extensive day of questioning from both his defense team and the Missouri Attorney General's office. Now, keep in mind, this is the first time Johnson's been able to tell his story since he was convicted in 1995. Johnson spoke a lot about he and Marcus Boyd's relationship, the man he's accused of murdering. He said they were friends of five years, like brothers. During the AG's office's cross exam Johnson testified he didn't know Boyd had been murdered the night it happened, only that he'd been shot. Johnson and his girlfriend at the time both testified today they had gone to a friend's house. Here she is about three miles from the house. Boyd was killed. Johnson claims he was making a drug deal on the corner when his friend was killed. He got emotional when asked to read part of a letter he wrote to a former judge. I pray that someday I would be given the chance to become a real man. And be a contributing asset to our people. The state called its first witness, Detective Joseph Nickerson, to the stand a few hours ago, who oversaw the lineup Johnson stood in. The judge says he plans to have this hearing wrapped up before Monday. We'll hear from more witnesses when court resumes tomorrow at 10.